Once upon a time, a few days ago, I was watching TikTok and Hank Green's video asking about where the order name of ants, bees, and wasps, Hymenoptera, came from. And I was so excited. I did comment on it. And I was like, yes, I'm going to make a video. And it's going to be awesome because it's actually like a really kind of niche, you know, piece of knowledge that's hard to find until I did not upload fast enough. And then like a whole bunch of other people answered him. So by this point, I'm sure Hank knows his answer. Uh, but I thought that maybe I could talk to you, bug friend, about where this name came from. And also thought that maybe we could use this as a platform to talk about like wings in insects and insect naming protocols and like why insects have the names that they do. And so Hank has his answer, but I thought, you know, you, maybe you and I, maybe you and I can make something a little bit more of it. So he got to the answer, hymen means membrane and terra means wing. He was like very nice and explained that terra, do we use terra a lot in different no, different nomenclatures. So pterodactyl, which is wing fingers essentially. And he used the example, example of helicopter, which is a spinning spiraling wing. Science, science names are kind of like boring once you break them down because they're really just like describing the thing that are, they're not actually that fancy. Anyway, so we're going to break them down and I'm going to like ruin all of the... It looks so complicated. It looks so fancy. It's not. It's just descriptions, basically. <laughs> many insect orders, not all, but many of them have the word terra in them because we are describing what the wing is doing because a lot of major groups of insects, you can see big changes that happen within that group that separate them from other insects. And it's easy to just describe that. Essentially, like the order names are like, this is how you would identify this whole group of insects. But that leads us back to Hymenoptera, right? There's so many insects with membranous wings, like flies and dragonflies. And like most of them, to be honest, most of them have membranous wings, at least one pair of membranous wings to fly with. So it seems really weird that you would describe this whole group of very charismatic insects just by like, they've got the basic default plan, you know? And so Hank, this is why he's like putting this out there, right? Because he was like, that seems kind of weird. Like, why would you just name it on, on the fact that they're membranous? Yes, hymen means membrane, but I think we need to take, you know, a few steps back and look at hymen, the Greek god of marriage. Okay, great. What does the Greek god of marriage have to do with anything with insects? Well, like I said, many orders of insects are named after a novel feature that arose in that group. On ants, bees, and wasps, they have a little strip of hooks that connects the forewing and the hindwing together. This is really important because, you know, instead of having two separate planes in which the insect is flying with, now you have one larger surface area that's more stable because it's been joined together because the forewing and the hindwing are literally coupled or married together, you have the married winged insects. 